The worst thing for anybody learning to program is getting stuck in tutorial hell. I've been there, you've been there, we've all been in tutorial hell. That place where you're following along with tutorials over and over and over again while never actually learning anything of your own. My name is Sid, I'm a computer science major at Georgia Tech, and I thought I would make this video to help you escape the burning flames of tutorial hell and hopefully ensure that you never end up there again. So let's jump straight into it. Everyone knows that the best way to learn programming is by building projects. And if you're struggling to find project ideas of your own, you're probably gonna turn to YouTube videos or blog posts and follow along with their step-by-step -step really clean tutorials that teach you how to build an app. And these tutorials are great, but if you're following along line by line, at the end of the four hour tutorial or the blog post, whatever, you'll have a functioning web app, but how much of that could you write if that tutorial was taken away from you and you had to do it by yourself? You would find out that probably you wouldn't be able to do much of it. And that's because you were shown a very sanitized version of building a programming project. There's a lot of gross things that happen behind the scene, a lot of debugging, a lot of errors that take hours to clean up. And unless you go through that whole experience by yourself, you're never, gonna, you're never really gonna learn anything, which is why getting caught in tutorial hell is such a problem. Because you'll follow a tutorial, find out that you can't really build the thing on your own after the tutorial, and think that you need to watch another tutorial to get better. And you'll just keep watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial, while never really learning a lot. And you're eventually gonna hit a plateau and be discouraged. That's why we need to help you get out of tutorial hell. I'll preface this by saying that escaping tutorial hell is not easy at all, especially if it's for one of the first few programming languages that you're learning. There's two main ways that you can do this. The first one I'm gonna talk about is waning off the habit a little bit slowly, taking tutorials that you've already built and making them your own. And the second bit is just going cold turkey, swearing off tutorials and building your own cool project. So let's jump straight into it. It's unavoidable that you'll be following along with YouTube tutorials or blog posts if you're a beginner in your programming journey or an intermediate programmer like myself. The urge to follow along line by line with these tutorials is very strong, but try to resist that. And even if you do follow along line by line, that's fine as long as you modify the project after afterwards before you put it on your resume or claim that you know a framework or a language. And as you know, this is probably good advice. You already know it's good advice, but the hard part is actually putting this into action. So let me try to convince you with an app you've already built. Suppose you followed along with a React tutorial to build a to-do app. You have this great to-do app, but you don't really understand the internal workings of it. A way to understand those internal workings is by adding on a feature or remixing the app in some way. Something cool that you could do would be adding user authentication so you can save those to-dos to a database like Firestore, or maybe making it so that people can share when they finish the to-do to social media. Adding these small features that aren't included in the tutorials is a great way of learning how to develop software because you'll run into errors that you'll have to debug using Google and Stack Overflow, and that'll get you a better understanding of what you're actually building. Of course, there will be other YouTube tutorials that might help, but try to stay off on those, because, try to hold off on those because following along line by line isn't what we want. We want to struggle with it a little bit because that's the best way to learn these things. Speaking of building things, the real best way to learn anything is by building your own project, like I've said multiple, multiple times in this video. Now, the project idea doesn't have to be your own or even very unique. It just needs to be something you can build with a tech stack, framework, or programming language you want to learn. It should also probably be interesting enough to keep you motivated to finish it because a boring project will rarely be finished. Now, when you start the project, you should know where you are with nothing, and you should know where you end, a finished product that's cool. But the path in between should be very muddy and unclear because you don't really know what exact implementation details you're going to have to do. As you're building the project, you're going to run into a lot of errors and a lot of problems. I would suggest trying to solve these problems by yourself before resorting to Google or Stack Overflow. Spend up to an hour on each problem saying, okay, I think I can solve this by myself. And if you really find yourself making no progress at all, then Google it or Stack Overflow. There's no shame in that, but you're going to learn things a lot easier and they're gonna stick in your head a lot longer if you solve the problem yourself rather than just copy pasting it from Stack Overflow. Recently, I've started to put the links to the Stack Overflow answers I get some of my code from into my code right above the function so that I know where to go if I ever run into that same problem again. And hopefully that'll help it stick in my head a lot quicker and make for e quick, easy references. And I suggest that you guys do that too because I found it to be quite helpful. Programming, like many things, is just a game of getting enough good practice. The two strategies I mentioned in this video are ways to try and optimize that practice, but the key idea here is that you should try and do these things with as small of a safety rail as possible, because you'll learn best under stress. 
Over relying on tutorials is not a good thing at all, but tutorials themselves are great, follow along with them. But if you ever find yourself getting stuck in tutorial hell, you're gonna need to escape and the two strategies I mentioned here are the first step on that long, long journey to programming mastery. If you wanna find a community of people to learn programming with, join my Discord server, my link's in the description. Also follow me on social media, it's very cool. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, link's in the description again. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.